Welcome back, science fans. Today, we're venturing into a world where it never stops raining. Imagine the first drop falling, a sign of a storm that will never end. Picture the streets of your city, the fields, the mountains, all under a relentless downpour. What would happen if it rained for one year or ten years and never stopped? What if it rained for one hundred years? The rain is unending. A constant drumming on rooftops and windows. Streets become rivers flowing with water that has nowhere to go. Sewer systems groan under pressure and become overwhelmed, spilling garbage onto flooded streets. But slowly, people begin to adapt, laying the foundation for a new way of life. They start with small adjustments, building paths above the water, not just to keep their feet dry, but also to keep in touch with friends and neighbors. New methods of urban farming emerge, replacing waterlogged fields with rooftop gardens. These green oases become a common sight, flourishing on top of most buildings. As it rains, the sea rises, inch by inch, and all that water eventually finds its way to the ocean. Coastal towns watch the tide creep ever higher, eventually threatening newly built sea walls that were futile attempts to stop the ocean. In just one year, the global sea level rises by two and a half inches. It may seem like a small change, but it's enough to threaten major coastal cities. Miami, known for its sun-kissed beaches and lively coastal vibe, finds itself on the front line of the battle. Streets that once bustled with activity are now submerged at high tide. And deep underground, another change is taking place. Salt water is creeping into freshwater aquifers and threatening the city's water supply. Engineers try to stop the contamination, but they soon realize that with all the rain, these underground caverns are relics of the past. Over the next few years, Miami evolves. Beaches that were once the playgrounds of sun seekers and surfers are now abandoned. They're repurposed into practical spaces like flood barriers. Survival begins to be prioritized over leisure. A decade passes and the rain continues, a constant companion to every living thing. Cities are transformed with towering sea walls and floating buildings. People move to higher ground and find new ways to live, abandoning homes swallowed by the rising sea. Farmers develop innovative farming techniques such as floating gardens and vertical agriculture. Scientists turn to futuristic water collection and purification methods. One way they do this is by reimagining traditional hydroelectric systems. Specialized catchment systems are strategically positioned to gather rainwater, which is then channeled into a network of super turbines. These turbines are engineered to harness the energy of the constant flow, turning the endless rain into a power source. Unlike traditional dams that rely on the gravitational force of falling or flowing water, these redesigned plants utilize perpetual rain. The continuous downpour turns the turbines, generating energy day and night. In a soaked world, human ingenuity finds ways to thrive, but not all can adapt. Wildlife struggles, ecosystems shift, and the world becomes a place of extremes. Most regions are drowned, while a few become arid and desolate. The balance of nature is disrupted as humanity faces challenges it had never imagined. After a century of rain, the Earth is transformed into a water world. Enough rain has fallen to fill a million Grand Canyons. Well-known sites like the Great Plains have become inland seas, while the Rocky Mountains emerge as islands in a new ocean world. Cities like New York and San Francisco are partially submerged, their skylines forever altered. The sea has risen by several feet, reshaping coastlines and transforming places like Florida into narrow peninsulas. Floating cities dot the horizon, marvels of engineering. Society has been reshaped, molded by the need to live in the water. And at the same time, some of our most favorite friends find ways to hunt, shelter, and reproduce in a waterlogged world. Over eons, the rain will transform life as we know it, and species will evolve to fill these new niches. 
So then, you may be wondering how much water it would take to cover all the land on Earth. Well, our oceans currently contain around 312 billion cubic miles of water, but to submerge every inch of land, we'd need to more than triple that amount. The world as we know it would be unrecognizable. Only the highest peaks, like those in the Himalayas, the Andes, and the Rockies, would remain islands in a vast sea. But don't worry. Even with continuous rain, filling the oceans would take millions of years. A true water world isn't in our cards today or in our foreseeable future, but it's fun to imagine it. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until the next time...